We're here in the 2015-16 season and I put Derrick Rose back in his prime with the Chicago Bulls and also the Boston Celtics have prime Isaiah Thomas and the Kings have primed Marcus Cousins. Injuries will be off and we're going to see how many rings these guys can win in five seasons. In year number one, Boogie was named to the All-NBA first team, putting up some ridiculous numbers. We also saw Derrick Rose named to the All-NBA second team. He was scoring the ball well. And Isaiah Thomas was named to All-NBA third team. All three of our guys ended up making it into the NBA playoffs. The Bulls would be taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers in round number one. The Raptors would be taking on the Celtics. And the Kings would be taking on Golden State. And through these round one matchups, we saw that this was going to be pretty tough for both Boogie and Derrick Rose. They were taking on some really good teams, and ultimately, they both ended up losing. But Isaiah Thomas did advance, and he was taking on the Cavs with LeBron. And although this was a tough matchup, Isaiah was able to win in six games and advance to the conference finals, where he was taking on a surprising opponent, the Miami Heat. This Miami Heat series was competitive, and in Game 6, IT season was on the line, and unfortunately, he ended up losing. The Boston Celtics actually made a move to trade for Kemba Walker, but ultimately, even this wasn't enough to help them as they tried to win an NBA championship. In the offseason, both Derrick Rose and Isaiah Thomas had an opportunity to move to new teams, and they took it. Isaiah Thomas ended up joining the 76ers, and Derrick Rose went to the Milwaukee Bucks. He'd be teaming up with a young Giannis and also Jabari Parker, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there. And then on the Sixers, Isaiah Thomas is with a ridiculous young core, and in Sacramento, they, they just forgot free agency was going on, I guess, because they did not add anybody to the roster. At the end of season number two, Isaiah Thomas was named the MVP of of the league as his 76ers were really good. Brett Brown was the coach of the year and the Sixers won 64 games. DeMarcus Cousins was on the All-NBA first team alongside Isaiah Thomas. And all of our guys were top seeds in their respective conferences and as a result easily made it to the second round. In round two, the Pacers would be taking on the 76ers, the Kings would be taking on the Jazz, and the Bulls would be taking on the Bucks. And in these series, unfortunately, we saw DeMarcus Cousins go down, but the Sixers and Bucks both moved on in the East, and now we're going to be seeing an IT versus D Rose matchup. Boogie just didn't have enough help. I don't really think it was his fault that he ended up losing. But back to the IT and D Rose matchup, Derrick Rose got absolutely cooked. And in the NBA Finals, Isaiah Thomas would be taking on the Memphis Grizzlies, and this would prove to be a tough series. With the series tied up at two apiece, the Philadelphia 76ers would take the pivotal Game 5 behind a ridiculous 46 points by Isaiah Thomas. Now they're one game away from an NBA championship and they can seal the deal here. Isaiah Thomas is about to sub in, but for now, Ben Simmons is going to have to cook. He goes ahead and gets to the rim and he's going to go to the free throw line. The first free throw goes in. The second free throw. Oh my goodness, that was ugly. He missed that one badly. But luckily, IT is now in the game. Unluckily for us, though, Zach Randolph's in his post bag. He goes ahead and gets a layup to go. Now we need to answer. Ben Simmons has the ball. Simmons is going to fit. Bro, why is Simmons taking jumpers, man? Give the ball to Isaiah Thomas. Mr. Clutch, Mr. Fourth Quarter. Can we just give him the ball? No, we're not going to give Isaiah. Ben again? No, please. Please. Oh my goodness. Thanks, Joel, for the rebound. But why are we doing this? We got to put the Grizzlies on the free throw line. They're going to knock down both. And now we need a three. Joel Embiid is going to take it. And he hits Joel Embiid with the big shot to bail us out of the Ben Simmons bricks. 
and the Grizzlies with the time winding down take a bad shot we're headed to overtime and in overtime it stays close the flashy oh my goodness what a pass down to Zach Randolph and now the Memphis Grizzlies are up by two points here Gerald Henderson he misses the three-point bro can we just give the ball to Isaiah Thomas y'all will give the ball to Ben Simmons Gerald Henderson bro bro okay and we're just not gonna play defense either I guess we're getting cooked by Tyler Zeller now great beautiful wonderful and Gerald Henderson is bringing up the basketball let's see if Gerald's got a bucket in him Gerald Henderson with a championship on the line is taking that shot. We could win a chip in this game and you're pulling that? Are you kidding me? This is the stuff I have to deal with when I make these videos. So if you enjoy, be sure to subscribe. But we're going to have to try and get this done in game seven because, man, man, we got cooked here. We weren't even giving the ball to IT. You had a triple double in this game. But let's move on to game seven. And luckily, we make things right in this final game. It would have sucked if we blew the series off of all the terrible plays that happened in that game six. But we won the chip, and Isaiah was named the finals MVP. In the offseason, DeMarcus Cousins actually had a chance to leave the Kings, but he didn't. L decision, if you ask me. But for the Sixers, they're seeing a ton of progression. In this alternate universe, Jaleel Okafor is becoming the GOAT. He's a higher overall than Giannis. And then the Sacramento Kings, they picked up Terrence Jones, and they're also paying Alfred Payton a lot of money. But luckily, they got Boogie, who took home an MVP this season and led the Kings to the one seed. Also, IT and Derrick Rose had really good seasons. Unfortunately, D. Rose, who was a two seed, ended up getting upset by the seven seeded Pacers. But IT and Boogie will both move on. IT's run is going to end in the second round, and so is Boogie's. So, a disappointing year for our guys. But considering they were all top seeds, we'll just say it was a fluke and that they'll bounce back. I think the Sixers are set for a huge season. Just look at how much their guys are progressing. The Bucks are still really solid. But let's get into another season. A Jaleel Okafor MVP is crazy, man. And the Sixers, they're going to take on the Bucks in round number one. So a matchup between two of our guys. But yeah, yeah, I don't know what the Bucks are meant to do when Jaleel Okafor is winning MVPs. And then in the Western Conference, Sacramento and Utah went to a Game 7. But Boogie was able to clutch up in Game 7. And then in round number two, Boogie had another Game 7 that he ended up winning. So Mr. Clutch, DeMarcus Cousins was out there hooping. And we also had a Game 7 between the Sixers and the Orlando Magic. Philadelphia was able to win this one in pretty convincing fashion because they have the greatest basketball player of all time, Jaleel Okafor. The Kings are going to advance to the Western Conference Finals to take on the Memphis Grizzlies. And then we've got a Pacers-Sixers matchup in the East. And it looks like both of our guys are going to move on. So that means we will get Boogie versus IT. Or maybe I should say Boogie versus Okafor at this point. Because Jaleel is just him. Let's see how this goes though. Series is all tied up at two apiece. And in game five, Sacramento's going to take it. Sacktown. Y'all might see a championship in this video. Which is crazy considering the comp Boogie is going up against. And in game number six, Boogie gets it done and wins the chip. DeMarcus Cousins taking down this team is crazy. And he had 44 and 25 in the final game. 25 rebounds, DeMarcus, man. W championship. He averaged like 40 and 15 in the finals. And in the offseason, IT stays with the Sixers. But Derrick Rose is headed to Memphis. I guess he got the script. The Philadelphia 76ers, as usual, are stacked. And as for the Memphis Grizzlies, they pick up Derrick Rose. The Sixers did lose Embiid, but I don't know how much that matters because, yeah, this guy, Jaleel Okafor, he, he's him. I don't even know what to say, man. He, he's just that guy. All right. But in the NBA playoffs this year, the Grizzlies were trash. The Kings were all right. And the Sixers, they were dominating. The Kings ended up losing in round number one. And surprisingly, the Sixers actually lost in round two. I'll call this a fluke though, because they just have such a ridiculous squad. In the offseason, the Kings, they're they're okay. I mean, they picked up a couple solid they've added like a few solid role players, I guess. And the Sixers, they're really, really good at basketball. And the Grizzlies, 
Good luck, Derek Rose. Your second best player is Tyler Zeller. And the end of the season, Ben Simmons was named the MVP. That is just a crazy thing. Jaleel Okafor and Ben Simmons MVPs. But in round number one, both Sacramento and Philadelphia went to game sevens. Philadelphia got theirs done in convincing fashion. But the Kings, they had a close one. We get to see some DeMarcus Cousins gameplay. And the Kings started off by getting a nice look in the paint. Tony Oakley is up to 26 points on the night. So a solid performance from him. The Nuggets have a crazy team. They got Zach Levine. I see Cat. I see John Morant. I see DeMontis Sabonis. Yo, this team is crazy. Hopefully Boogie will be able to take him down though. Boogie, he's going to pull a mid-range. That's a tough shot. John Morant able to secure the rebound. Now the Nuggets looking to tie up the game. Oh no, they're going for three. Cat for three. No, he's going to hit it and pull Put the Nuggets up by one. Now the Kings need a bucket. Go to Boogie. Alfred, swing the rock. Why are you shooting it? Oh my goodness. And now John Morant steps up to the line. Knocks down both free throws. We need a three-pointer here. Maybe give the ball to DeMarcus Cousins. Just maybe. It might be a good idea. Or, or don't, I guess, you know. But yeah, we lost. I mean, you can't I you can't really blame Boogie. He barely got the basketball. And he was cooking in this game too. And the Kings go ahead and go down. But the Sixers, they're going to make it to the NBA Finals pretty easily. And they'll be taking on the Portland Trailblazers who have James Harden and Kevin Durant. So this should be an interesting matchup, and it was. It ended up being tied up at two apiece, headed into game number five. And in game five, the Philadelphia 76ers were able to get the dub. Ben Simmons with a big game. Isaiah Thomas, a lot of assists in this one. And we have a chance to close out the series in game number six. And in game six, we did exactly that, winning an NBA championship. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.